Hey, what does this do? You okay, man? Okay. Why Tesla? Okay. Oh, someone had a little boo boo. It's a lot of torque and a lot of power, and these people have never, never, never done anything like this. Yeah, like it. And I hate to say it, this should be. Hey guys, hey. The whistling diesel demo, where he was, uh, he broke the frame. Yeah. So what I have to say about that video is. What's up guys, we're out here at the Electrify Expo in Long Island. I'm out here with Tyler from Tyler's Trail Rides. We are here very early, so I don't know what we're gonna do. See you guys in a bit. Hey, what does this do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way bigger than I thought they would be. Someone had a little boo boo. All right, we got a light out here. How's the throttle mapping on these? Smooth? Okay, okay. So just be super careful with the throttle, yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Thanks, man. All right, sport mode, E Ride Pro. Oh, yeah, we got, we got the power, folks. Torque, lots of torque. Got it right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Instantly 30 miles an hour. Nice, hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Got trike action over here. I feel the torque. Damn. <laughs> hell yeah. Feels good. This is like a good size too. Pretty nimble. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's Tyler. What do you think, man? Oh, this is fun. This is just E-Ride Pro S. It's got it some torque. Yeah, it's got some torque. Yeah. I rode the uh, the SS, man. That's the throttle in sport. Woo wee! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Towards yeah. the air. Ooh, yeah. You're like, it okay. The whole oh yeah. It. It's got some torque. Yeah. Oh boy. Good catch. <laughs> I've never seen a standing Westie throttle. Bro, you know, like, you know what? I don't put it past anybody here. <laughs> Might have seen it all. <laughs> Safe, I think I think the problem is uh, the, the joint people that you let it ride don't have M class. Let me so explain. The company that I work for, we don't require M class. It's not a, it's not an M class rated motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an E mount bike, okay, on steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it still does 60 miles an hour. Yeah, which is for me. And it's, running, it's, running, it's running 12 kilowatts. I mean, it's a lot of torque and a lot of power. And these people have never, never, never done anything day. like this. Yeah, like yeah. And I made to say it, this should be. Hey um, guys, hey, don't do the whiskey throttle thing, man. Nice and smooth, man. No wheelies. Two laps. Behave. Look at this line for the cyber truck. Big line. This is my first time driving an electric car, actually. You're going to have that regenerative feel. Yeah, oh, so I feel it. I feel it. Yep. Okay. 
So, you yeah, don't have I feel to hold the brake either. It holds by itself. That's pretty nice. Yep. That makes uh, makes for light. less fatigue. Yep. Are you thinking about getting electric? Oh yeah, for sure. I was thinking about the Cybertruck. Okay. Um, I saw there are. I'm sure you've probably seen that the Whistling Diesel demo where he was uh, he broke the frame. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know if you could tell me more about that. Are uh, you talking about with the Ford F-150? No. Well, he compared it to a Ford, um, but he drove the Cybertruck. He, he put it through a test. He put it through its paces. Yeah. So what I have to say about that video is you have to see the amount of things he did to that Cybertruck before yeah. that video was aired. Yeah. And the the fact that he just put a wear, weared out cyber truck against a Ford F-150 on okay. a pull test, okay. the Ford F-150 didn't do anything. Like that. Turn signals and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's all on the steering wheel? It's on the steering wheel, correct. Okay. And that probably takes some getting used to. Definitely. I think the uh, the signal light is definitely something to get used to. That's that's the biggest thing to get used to. Mm -hmm. What's uh, Can you tell me a little bit more about the self-driving features of, of this car? Is that available yet for most people or only if you pay for it or yeah. it's not available yet? Yeah. So the uh, all of our vehicles come with a standard autopilot yeah which is basically adaptive cruise control that keeps you in between lanes without you having to touch the wheel obviously and then uh for our full self driving can't say the price but it is on our website but yes that 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 i, I use it all the time okay I, I own a tesla myself which one do you own i own a model three okay yep yeah i feel the regen you don't even have to brake uh, yep. we're going with that guy one yep yeah you don't even need the brakes wow now can you turn that off if you wanted to what? the regen no we can't we so, used to have that as an option but yeah. we just took that away because it would affect the uh estimated mileage that we mm. put on our website okay that regenerative brake brake helps you uh maintain mileage okay can you tell me about this car in uh, cold weather how much range does it lose how does it keep the battery pack warm uh let's say it's at a low battery and you park it and it's super cold does it drain the battery completely and then you need like so the only Tesla thing that the only thing that drains the battery when it's parked is sentry mode mm. which is an option that uh basically you have 24 hour access to your cameras mm -hmm. when you're away from your vehicle and it also records anything that hits the car things like that in terms of cold weather a lot of people think that because it's an electric vehicle you don't have to let it warm up like a gas vehicle yeah that's not the case though the battery doesn't heat up before you start driving okay you heat it up by just driving the vehicle in general the what the cold weather does affect is the regenerative like going back into the battery so like like you see this line right here yep when you release the pedal a little bit it goes green regen okay green means you're regenerating the energy like, yeah so you'll you'll definitely have less regenerative braking in the winter time that mm. would probably go for all evs i don't want to speak upon them but then again i what i do with my car before i just jump in my car and go i precondition my car as soon as i wake up okay it takes me about 30 minutes to to get ready shower get mm. dressed go to work so as soon as I wake up, my eyes open, precondition my car yeah. to heat up. You could also, it's a new update, you could schedule. What happens if you don't precondition it? You just like turn it on and go and it's like ice then, cold? Then you will notice some range loss. Okay, okay, gotcha. But if you precondition, you will lose definitely yeah. a lot less. Oh, it's got some pickup. Uh -huh. I'm sure you're, <laughs> you're probably aware. Yeah. <laughs> The reaction time is quick. Yeah. There's no lag between. Yeah. The beauty of electric motors. Yep. Yeah, it's a weird feeling not having to use the brake. You almost, uh, you know, just get used to it. Performance of this one. This is so. This is the performance model. What does it get? Zero to sixty. Off the top of my head, I think it's two point, two point one. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. That's uh, yeah, that's just an outrageous in a good way. That'll the get you. That'll S get Plat you in trouble though. The, the Model S Plaid is one point nine nine. Yeah. Wow. All of our pricing though is on our website. Mm -hmm. Just be sure if you're on our website to look at pricing, you uh, uncheck the gas savings mm -hmm. portion and you check off the taxes and fees portion. Okay, that Make makes sure sense. Make sure taxes and fees are included or else it will throw off your estimate. Or you can stop by your local Tesla store. Do you guys have a lot of uh, dealerships around? Uh, where are you from? Connecticut. We just opened a service center in Stanford. Okay. I think one of you guys was talking to me about that. He was like, hey, you can go over there to test drive a Cybertruck, skip the line. Uh, Stanford doesn't have a Cybertruck. They don't? Test drive, no. Okay. But uh, Mount Kisco will have one. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. That's the store I go, I'm at. Where's that? Uh, Mount Kisco is Upper Westchester. Okay. All right. We are good, man. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. No problem. Nice to meet you.